Hello, this is the Tandem Twin Animal Girls figure made by the company called Yamato. This one six scale figure dressed in Japanese Bushido armor is quite a collectible figure for anyone's uh, interest. This is very central and exotic and very physically endowed collectible figure which comes from a series of four other figures by Yamamoto the company is a very unique piece just barely eight inches tall in height. The overall concept development of this Animal Girl series which is second of the second called Topaz is one of five figures as I said before. You have Sapphire, you have Emerald and you have a few other pieces which are very hard to locate and find by the way. They come out of, out of the country of Japan and, my, and not too many places make these particular figures. I had to order this particular figure off of Amazon.com. The kneeling position of this figure in the traditional code of Bushido fits the very character and the very scope of this design. Topaz, this particular piece that we're talking about now, has some highly exaggerated uh, sense of, of uh, presentation. The anatomical structure of this figure uh, meets all the requirements, meaning that the head is not too big, all the limbs, and the, including the uh, voluptuous bust line, fits this character completely. You see that she's wielding the traditional Japanese sword, even though she comes with two. It would have been really great if Yamamoto, the company that developed these type of ammo girl figures, would have it so that the other the other sword that comes with this figure could be could be placed in the back of her source her sword shiva. If you turn this figure around, you see the uh, the the uh, she where the sword could go into, but basically that is just covered up. But it would be a very unique if they could have designed this piece to reflect that. The top of Topaz's head can be removed because you have to remove the plastic that comes in the shipping part. There's a plastic covering that's underneath this figure. They left a, basically gave you a Cravex saying that this plastic, once it's removed from the figure, from her bust line of course, that that over a period of time the, the figure might be stained. What I did to correct that problem was I, I cut up some small strips of white paper towels and I put them in the inside of her bus. So in order to remove that plastic you have to lift her head off and of course you have to move the sword out of the way which is detachable from her her uh, right arm and there are two buttons on the side where you where you push those out and that removes the top covering. That's where you can remove the plastic and then place the, and place the bust, her blouse back on her chest and set it up with the top of her head. I can see uh, a lot of potential with this particular figure being that uh, they come in a series. I like the overall design of the figure. If you note that her armor, which is uh, characteristic and stylistic in itself, uh, meets the qualification of this presentation piece. They all have a character of their own. Her potato uh, sword has uh, characters written on it. And the detailed quality of her skin tone is truly amazing. She has kind of a tan uh, skin covering, but you, you would note that the very shading they did really pulls this, this piece off. Now being that she's topaz, her hair is basically white in color with some with some tints of brown in it and orange in it. And her eyes are reflective because they are also they all too are orange with a yellow tint in it. Her bust line is quite unique, guys. I can tell you that. Uh, you would think that this figure that they could do any more changes to it, and I really don't see that in this case. They really put some workmanship, and the craftsmanship is just is just fantastic. See how she's kneeling down on um, 
on her right knee and she's holding the sword uh, with her right hand. All the figures under the Animal Girl series, or the Tandem Twins for that matter, have the same stance and pose. The only thing that changes is the color skill, the, the, the color palette and the colors that are used on it. You can see that she's holding a, a white shaver for her sword. She has a brown twist on the top of her hair. She is wearing brown panties. And you can just make out the eyes on her, which is really quite something. The light and the shading that I put on this piece is just to give more detail to the scope of the overall presentation. Her nails are black in color. Uh, her armbands are bronze as well as the bronze around her thighs. And the, uh, the, bush the Bushido footwork she got is truly amazing. They didn't exaggerate on the color scheme or to get that real realistic quality to everything. The sword of course can be removed and replaced with another sword. But the only problem I see is that um, I wish they had had it so that the other sword, because she she's the only figure in this series by the way that comes with two swords, whereas the other figures do not. She does have an eye patch, which is kind of flimsy and I, and, and I would highly um, advise not to use that patch because uh, when you put it on there it kind of falls off. This figure does have some weight and as I said, well, it's very quite it's very quite fantastic. I mean, it's really I've been trying to find a figure because I'm into uh, the Japanese culture per se, and I couldn't see her placement as far as her stance goes as to how else could she be uh, situated in this case. But there you have it, um, the tandem twin. Topaz series, second of the second. Uh, these figures are discontinued on most uh, most other sites that I can see. If you go on the website, you can find them at Amazon.com, and you can also look at eBay. eBay is where some folks are holding on to other their other series as well, because some of them collected all five figures, and they post them on the web. These figures can go as high as $160, $150. Uh, I got mine on Amazon.com for about $100. Topaz is one of the rare pieces. They don't make too many Topaz pieces anymore. But they make a lot of the other ones. Uh, Emerald and Sapphire per se. Overall, I rate this as a, as a 10 plus on my scale of figures. Leave your comments if you can. And have a nice day.